In this video, we will do a practice question on vertical alignment and specifically on grades. The question is, a 160 meter long pressed vertical curve connects tangents that intersect at station 4 plus 310 and elevation 411 meters. The elevations of BVC and EVC are 407.8 meters and 409 meters respectively. What are the initial and final grades? And determine the elevation and stationing of the highest point. The solution approach for this question will be to determine the initial and final grades, answering the first part of the question. We will do this by using the following two equations. Then we will determine the elevation and stationing of the highest point. To first do that, we need to determine the station of BVC and EVC using these two equations. And then we can solve the second part of the question and determine the elevation and stationing of the highest point by using the equation of a parabola where the coefficients are equal to these terms and then setting the derivative of the equation for a parabola to zero, therefore finding the maximum or minimum point depend depending on whether it is a concave or converse parabola. We are told that this is a crest vertical curve, therefore it is a curve of this description. It has a highest point or maxima at when dy dx is equal to zero. Let's extract the information that has been provided to us. We are told that the curve is 160 meters long the length of a crest vertical curve is this length here. The length between BVC and EVC, and it is also the straight length, not the length along the curve. So it's not this length in red. Instead, it is a straight length from BVC to EVC. Therefore, I can write that L is equal to 160 meters. We are also told that the station and elevation of where the tangents intersect are 4 plus 310 and the elevation is 411 meters. Now, where the tangents intersect is called the PVI. Therefore, I can say that the station of PVI is 4 plus 310 and the elevation of PVI is for 11 meters. We are also told that the elevations of BVC and EVC are 407.8 meters and 409 meters respectively. Therefore, I can write the elevation of BVC and the elevation of EVC. Now I've extracted all of the information that's been provided to me. Now let's go ahead and perform the first step that is to determine the initial and final grades G1 and G2. They refer to this, these um, slopes, the slope of the upward tangent and the slope of the downward tangent. Please note that G1 will be positive and G2 will be negative because G1 is, has a positive slope and G2 has a negative slope. We'll use these two equations here that have been provided in your lecture notes. So using the first equation, we have elevation of BVC, which is this, equal to elevation of PVI, which is 411 minus G1, which is our unknown, 
note that it says in this equation that G1 is positive times L over 2. So L is 160 metres over 2. Rearranging for GI, we get GI is equal to 411 minus 407.8 all over 160 over 2. Putting this into my calculator, I get 0 0.04 or 4%. Now, subbing my values into equation 2, I get the elevation of EVC, which is 409 metres, equal to elevation of PVI, which was 411, plus G2, which is our unknown. Now G2 will be negative, times L over 2, 160 over 2. Rearranging for G2, I get G2 is equal to 409 minus 411 all over 160 over 2. And that gives me minus 0 0.025, which is also equal to minus 2.5%. The working out from the previous slide is now shown here, typed up. Now we'll perform the first part of the second step, which is to determine the station of BVC in EVC. We'll use these two equations from the lecture slides. We'll call this equation 3 and this equation 4. Substituting our values into equation 3, we get the station of BVC, which is our unknown, is equal to the station of PVI, which is here, minus L, which is 160, over 2. This gives me 4 plus 310 minus 80, and that is 4 plus 230. Now for equation 4, the station of EVC, which is our unknown, is equal to the station of PVI. 4 plus 310 plus L over 2. That gives me 4 plus 310 plus 80, which is 4 plus 390. So now we have the station of BBC and the station of EVC. This slide just confirms the working out that we did on the previous slide. Now we can determine the elevation and stationing of the highest point, which will answer the second part of the question. Now we'll be using this typical equation for a parabola, but for this specific vertical crest curve, we can find out what A, B and C are in this situation. This has been done in your lecture slides. Let's go ahead and work out what dy dx is. So if y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, dy dx is equal to 2ax plus b. If we set this to zero to find the maximum, we can rearrange for x to be equal to minus b over 2a. Therefore, the highest point, x, will occur at minus b. Now, we know that minus b is equal to g1, 
so minus g1 over 2 times a. a is this figure here, g2 minus g1 over 2l. Therefore, subbing in our values, um, minus g1 was found to be, uh, or g1 was found to be 0 0.04. So we write minus 0.04 over 2. G2 was found to be minus 0 0.025. G1 was again 0 0.04. And L we know to be 160. Putting this into my calculator, X, or our highest point, is 98.46 metres. Let me just represent this on the diagram. If this red dot represents our highest point, then X, which we've just found, is this distance here. Note that the highest point does not necessarily occur at PVI. So here we have the working out represented again. Now, now that we have XHP and we have been given the station of BBC, we can find the station of the highest point by taking the station of BBC and adding X. That gives us 4 plus 230 plus XHP. Putting that into our calculator, we get 4 plus 328.46. Therefore, the station of the highest point is 4 plus 328.46. We can now determine the elevation of the highest point we know that elevation corresponds to y. So substituting our terms for a, b, and c into the parabola equation, we get y is equal to a g2 minus g1 over 2l x squared plus b g1 x plus c elevation of BBC. Now, if X is set to be XHP, then Y would also be YHP. Therefore, to find YHP, or Y, the elevation at the highest point, we substitute in XHP. Now, substituting in all the values, G2 was minus 0 0.025, G1 was 0 0.04, 2 and L was 160, XHP was 98.46, that needs to be squared, plus G1 which was 0 0.04 times 98.46 plus the elevation of BBC, which was 407.8. Putting this all into my calculator, I get 409.77 metres. Therefore, the elevation of the highest point is 409.77 metres. We have now solved the question. We've determined the elevation of the highest point. We've determined the station of the highest point. And we've determined the grades G1 and G2. Thank you for watching this video and good luck.